have a hand up. It's in uh, this stuff here, right? Yeah, it's in there. There it is. Yeah. And this is something you can do while you're just sitting around watching, you know. You, you, need, you need to break this down, into, as Sue said, into pieces that you can learn. And when you watch, if you want to do bumps, just sit there and try to make a bump. Try some grass. Just see what the texture looks like. Try to go from one side of the paper to the other, from dark to light, you know, from skies. You know. All it is, all this is, is, is practice. Okay, this is anybody can do watercolor. And everybody always comes up with, with something new. Okay. Simple. 
Am I out of your view? Okay. All right. Number one, here's the picture. And everybody has a handout that has that picture on it. It's the cover of the steward, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm going to choose a subject that I want to make a watercolor. So the first step is, well, first of all, I'm not painting all these water, all these lady beetles. I don't want them all. So I like this one, I like this one, I like that one. So, quick sketch. So do it. Make a quick sketch. Don't, don't agonize over it. On what paper do we put it on? The, you can put it on a piece of your good paper. I, get, good yeah. I got more up here, so don't, don't worry about messing it up. I want to give you just a, just a few minutes, so just make it quick, make it quick, very light. You can just copy this if you want. It doesn't even have to be in the center of the paper, I don't care. Seventeen different shades of pink there. That's good. Or red. So this is dry or wet on dry. Your technique. I guess you should have told you that. Wet on dry. texture in that, so it doesn't matter what kind of direction. So you kind of go in, you know, like the cherry. You don't have to go in straight lines. Everybody's chuckling. It's good. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, I added a second color, because a darker red on top of the other one. And then I, I put in suggestions, see where the lines are. And then I, the legs are black, so I did the legs with the point of the brush. So it's important that your brush has a point on it. You know, this is not the Bob Roth school with the big three inch white brush. Hey, it's my own little world. Yeah, it's your own little world. You can do whatever you want. You could actually put these on with ink or with Sharpie. No, doesn't matter, but I timed myself. This took 12 minutes to do this. Okay, so it's not going. It doesn't take long. Once you know, there's just those basic techniques to do. This.
We can, we can go on to the next one here. Watch the next one. Okay. You notice here, if you look at these, it's, see it's darker here, it's darker here, it's lighter in the middle. So you simply take a darker red or you mix red and purple or brown or whatever you want to, so that all of a sudden they look a little rounder, don't they? They're looking a little less flat. You notice here also it's darker here. See this is darker. This is darker. I know you say there's white marks on them. Don't worry about that yet. Don't worry about that. The other thing that's important to, to realize with watercolor, it's better to be subtle to start with and then become bolder. If you start bold, it's hard to go back. I gotta remember, the projector has to be turned on first. Okay. It's much better. Yeah, it's much better. All right. Note on it. Go on the next one. Look, we get to put black dots on now. And it's important, I mean, we're not being photorealism, but this, the position of the dots on lady beetles no. designates the species. Oh. <laughs> so it's at least important to have them sort of in the right place, you know, don't just dot, 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 you know. You know, it's the head here is black, so you know. I you know some of you are going to get frustrated, like, oh, this is too hard. This is the first time you've ever done it. It looks fine. You'll be fine. And then when you get home, you'll do it again. Without <coughs> helps to be in the dark. You can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Flakes off, but 
Okay, the next thing you do is you kind of, it's a different technique, you kind of just freeform the background with different values, you know, I'm not worried about wet. drawing the bark, I'm just worried about wet on wet, wet on wet, wet on dry, doesn't matter. So you take your brush and just wet your face all the way And just kind of, the side of the brush and just be freeform, you know, it's a little, it's light here and dark and there was a little hint of shadows, just To, to do this kind of watercolor, you got to liberate your mind and quit being so, I won't say anal retentive, but just do it, okay? And then do it again, and then do it again. And then we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, there's some, see there's some cracks in here. So there's just some random cracks. I made it a little bit darker here. Yeah, just, just, just practice it. I mean, this is just a... And remember, 